Over the past eight years, private water utilities Illinois American Water and Aqua Illinois have been buying up aging water and wastewater systems across the state. As of February 2021, these for-profit companies have purchased more than 30 systems since 2013 and have passed the costs over $220 million onto their customers. Currently, community members who are the de facto shareholders of these water systems have no say if or when their water or sewer system is privatized. For many communities, privatization sounds like a pretty sweet deal, at least on the surface. The municipality gets a cash influx, and a private company takes financial responsibility for a water system that is often in dire need of expensive upgrades and maintenance. The COVID pandemic is also undoubtedly putting additional pressure on municipal budgets, and private water stands ready to benefit. But let's look beneath the surface. What happens after the sale? For one, too often rates go up. Food and Water Watch did a survey of 500 municipal water systems across the country and found that private water utilities charge an average of 59% more for service than their public counterparts. In Illinois, the number is worse. The report found that customers of private systems in Illinois pay almost $300 more per year. And why are these rates going up? One reason is Illinois' Water Privatization Act. It allows Aqua Illinois and Illinois American Water to raise their customers' rates to pay for water system acquisitions. These companies are now free to offer top dollar for aging water systems and leave their customers with 100% of the cost. Private water also means private profit. Water utility profits, which are paid for by customers in their rates, are 10%. Customers of private utilities also pay taxes on utility earnings, which is just another charge tacked on to customers' bills that makes private water more expensive. But price isn't the only concern. Aqua Illinois was sued by the Illinois Attorney General's office after the company found high levels of lead in University Park water and warned residents not to drink it. More than a year later, many residents of the southern Chicago suburb still didn't have drinkable water. Many communities are paying too much for their water, and other customers haven't even been able to drink it. Water privatization has a huge impact on consumers, and it's a difficult decision for officials to make. Small municipalities are often stuck navigating the city's short-term financial solvency, their constituents' utility bills, and the community's health and safety. If your city is considering privatizing your water or wastewater system, get the facts first and tell your state representatives to support Illinois Senate Bill 164 or House Bill 737. These bills would require a referendum of local voters before your municipality can sell its water system. If ratepayers foot the bill for privatization, they should have a voice in the decision. Let your legislators know that your water shouldn't be handed to private companies without a vote.